is in extreme danger. Cops in Carthage, Missouri have put out an Amber Alert for little Eddie Salazar. There he is, eight months old, reportedly kidnapped by two masked thugs. Dad says they left him unconscious. Well, now detectives say time really is of the essence here. We'll take your calls, 1-877-TELL-HLN's number. Join me to talk about this. Welcome back, HLN law enforcement analyst Mike Brooks. Also with us, John Hacker, editor with the Carthage Press. John, I'll start with you. Any solid leads on this case? Well, the police department had a press conference here about two hours ago, and really what came out of that is no, they don't have a lot of solid leads. Um, they're basically saying that what they know is the two masked men, they believe one or two masked men, that they're pretty sure it's two. Uh, they were wearing dark, stock, dark masks, dark stocking caps with masks, and dark clothing uh, broke into the home. Um, they've also, they basically are saying, the police are saying, they don't have any information on identities. Uh, Police Chief Greg Dagnan was the one who held the press conference here about two hours ago. Any anybody else in the home? John, a mom, a, there was a little kid, there anybody? Was a second, there was a second child in the home, apparently a toddler. Mm. We're not sure how old uh, this toddler was. The mother, the police department said that the mother was away, but there was no, there w it wasn't in any, any way suspicious. It was pretty much normal. They didn't say specifically why she was away, but she wasn't there, and it was pretty much a normal family uh, thing. The, uh, the only other the toddler who was also in the home was apparently not hurt or was not mm. was not hurt or not abducted, not taken in any way. Uh, the, basically, okay. the father was assaulted and the uh, youngest child was taken. Okay, let's bring Mike Brooks in. All right, Mike, there you have forcible entry. Uh, another toddler not taken, mom not there. A lot of pieces to this puzzle so far. What do you make of it? You know, Mike, the, right now, the, apparently there were no witnesses. So, you know, the, they spent a long time trying to verify whether, in fact, this was an actual kidnapping before, before they put out this Amber Alert. So, you know, they, the law enforcement went to great lengths to make sure this was not, you know, uh, a story like we've heard before. Right. So they believe it is an actual kidnapping. But, you know, the question is, why? Why did they take this little boy? They ransacked the house. Uh, it happened about 11 p.m. Uh, but, you know, why did they take this little boy? Yeah. Nobody knows. John, let's talk about that. Any theories being forwarded right now? I mean, was this father? Did he have uh, shady acquaintances? Anything at all? Well, the police aren't even, com they really aren't even uh, confirming the identity of the father or the, par mm. the parents at this point. Uh, they say that they're, at this point, trying to protect the uh, family's privacy, and they're thinking that they're wanting to have a conversation with them before they release their names to the media. Um, they aren't releasing, they say they don't know uh, what the motive at this point was. There's just a lot they don't know. That was really the, if there was anything that came out of this press conference, it's the fact that they are following. They, they say they do have some concrete leads that they are following, but they aren't willing to release those. They mm -hmm. say that they don't want to compromise the investigation Okay, and John, point. from what we know about the family, is there any... I mean, do they seem like a happy family, i.e. the marriage, or is there any trouble between the husband and wife here? Or we don't, we know? We, 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 what, the only thing we know from the family is from talking to neighbors. I talked to mm. a woman who lives next door who said that uh, the father appeared to be a very nice family, mm. a very nice person. She talked with him about their puppies. Wow. Um, the, she didn't speak with the mother much because the mother didn't speak English very well. Okay. Apparently the father was fluent in English, the mother was not. Um, this, the neighbor also said that she had seen the toddler outside, but hadn't met the eight-month-old. Um, and this woman lives, you know, this woman lives right next door. Uh, these houses are fairly close together. This is an older neighborhood in Carthage. Uh, a lot of children, that was another thing that uh, some of the people who lived in this area said. There are a lot of children in this neighborhood, and mm. it's a big concern for them. Gotcha. And it's really a concern right now because there just isn't a lot of information available. Okay, Mike, let's hit it. And we ask these questions from, from what John's saying. It sounds pretty normal, but that's where you have to start as an investigator. What's going on in that house, right? Absolutely. The people closest to that little boy, Eddie Salazar. And they're going to be looking into the father's background, you know. Um, from what we're hearing, they have a little bit to go on. There are some leads, but again... They're not going to put out much right now until they do have some solid leads to give to the public. But, uh, you know, as far as we know right now, Mike, there is no vehicle description, you know, uh, no detailed description of the, of the one or two people, men, dressed in black that came into that house. So, but the thing is, right now, you're going to, you're going to grill the father, you're going to find out friends, associates, and find out what the real motive for this is. Okay. Now, John also met a lot of children. 
So it, does that alarm you that if someone is going to try and abduct a child, you have a lot of kids in this neighborhood? Is that another thing to look at? Well, that's the other thing, too. You know, has this happened anywhere around Carthage, Missouri, or surrounding counties in the past? Is there any links to any other crimes? You know, this is what one of the other things law enforcement is going to be looking at. Uh, they're going to be looking at sex offenders in that area. They're going to be looking at, uh, you know, all these different kinds of things. But it's a fairly small community. Yeah. So, uh, you know, and they really don't have anything to go on. You're also going to check the businesses around there for any possible surveillance video that someone might have in that neighborhood or surrounding uh, businesses. You know, I don't know if there was a uh, central business district nearby here. Uh, the road's going in and out. I'm not, I've never been to Carthage, Missouri, not right. familiar with that, with that neighborhood. Okay, well, there's a phone number if you've seen anything. We also know little uh, Eddie has a, a distinctive birthmark, like shape of a lung in his right bicep. Want to get that information out there as our thoughts and prayers are with little Eddie and, and his family. Uh, John, Mike, we appreciate it. So you give you one more look at that cute little guy. Okay, yeah. guys, thanks again.